Namo Buddhaya Namo Amitabhaya Hello everyone. So today I feel like talking about what is a Bodhisattva. For people who practice Mahayana Buddhism, one may be quite familiar with the term Bodhisattva. But for people who are new into Buddhism, one may not be so clear what exactly is a Bodhisattva. So a Bodhisattva is also an enlightened being who generated the Bodhicitta and aspired to realize the perfect enlightenment, to realize Buddhahood for the benefit of all sentient beings. So to generate Bodhicitta is really the hallmark of a Bodhisattva. So what exactly is Bodhicitta? So Bodhicitta has two aspects. A bodhicitta literally means the awakened mind, uh, this awakened mind who aspires to realize the perfect Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. So bodhisattvas, they want to realize the perfect enlightenment not just for their own salvation, not just for their own self-benefit, but really to help liberate all sentient beings out of sufferings. So that is uh, the hallmark of a bodhisattva. If you are an enlightened being, but you don't have bodhicitta, then you are not a bodhisattva. So bodhisattva is different from arahant, which we'll talk about arahant in the next video. Arahant is also an enlightened being, but without a great bodhicitta, like the bodhisattva. So arahant, they want to realize enlightenment uh, just for their own self-salvation. And they may have this uh, mini bodhicitta that they will help uh, some people, but it's very different from bodhisattvas, great bodhicitta to want to help liberate all beings out of suffering. And I remember reading a post somewhere and says, you know, how can a bodhisattva be so egoistic and think that they can liberate all sentient beings out of all sufferings in life. Bodhisattva has no ego. They are like really highly enlightened beings who have already let go of the self. So in the Diamond Sutra, the Buddha also told us that a Bodhisattva helps all sentient beings without attaching to any act. Right? They're simply performing the act to help save all sentient beings, but they're not attached to such act. And also they do not think that they are helping to save all sentient beings. And they already have no distinction of the self and sentient beings. So in the Diamond Sutra, the Buddha also said, if the Bodhisattva still has the notion of the self, the notion of the sentient beings, then he is not a real Bodhisattva. So a Bodhisattva already doesn't have the notion of self and the notion of sentient beings. Uh, there's already no such separation. But they make these great vows to help save sentient beings without abiding to such thing. So do not think that the bodhisattvas are very much attached to, you know, oh, we must help save all sentient beings, <laughs> or otherwise I'll be sad and all that. No. So and they don't think like that at all, but they simply performing the actions and they make great vows to help save sentient beings without attaching to such acts. So who are the commonly known bodhisattvas? And I trust uh, most people, even include non-Buddhists, will know about Bodhisattva Guan Yin, uh, Avalokiteshvara, who is the Bodhisattva of compassion, uh, who has this great compassion to really help all sentient beings to liberate out of all sufferings in life. And Bodhisattva Guan Yin also has countless manifestations in countless worlds to help save sentient beings. So Guan Yin is also the major attendant to Amitabha Buddha. And we see the Chinese representation of Guan Yin uh, generally in a female form and who always wears the crown of Amitabha Buddha. Because Amitabha Buddha is her teacher, so it shows that she honors and respects her teacher. Of course, Bodhisattvas transcend genders. In Tibetan Buddhism, Guan Yin or Avalokiteshvara is portrayed as the male form. So Bodhisattvas really transcend genders and they can appear in whatever forms 
in accordance to the preference of the sentient beings. And it's also Guan Yin's vow to deliver all sentient beings to the western pure land of ultimate bliss. All bodhisattvas have their great vows in how they will help save sentient beings. And there are also other bodhisattvas, such as Bodhisattva Manjushri, Bodhisattva Samadabhadra, Bodhisattva Siddhagaba, Bodhisattva Mahatmaprapta. So in fact, a lot of these Bodhisattvas, they have long ago realized Buddhahood, right? such as Guan Yin, such as Manjushri, such as Samadabhadra. But they still chose to come back in our world as Bodhisattvas. So why is that? Because at any given time in one world, there could be only the teaching of one Buddha. So in our world at this time, we are under the teaching period of Shakyamuni Buddha. So if we still have the teachings of Shakyamuni Buddha, even other Buddhas come to our world to help. They will not take up the position as Buddhas, but instead they will take up the position as Bodhisattvas. So why is that? This is not to confuse us sentient beings here. Right? If they all come back as Buddhas, then which Buddha should we listen to? So at any given time in one world, there could be just the teaching of one Buddha. And in our world now, it's the teaching period of Shakyamuni Buddha. And that's why other Buddhas, when they come here to help, they will either take up the position as Bodhisattvas or some even as Arahants so to help save sentient beings. Uh, bodhisattvas, like the Buddhas, also have countless incarnations in countless worlds to help save sentient beings. And we may be like, you know, where are the Bodhisattvas in our world? So we don't know, right? Bodhisattvas can appear in any forms. Right? They can be just like us, like ordinary uh, human beings, or even in other realms and other forms. And when they come here, they will not really reveal their identities right, for the reason that we talked about before. So they have also countless Nimanakayas in our world and other worlds to help save sentient beings. And when we go to Amitabha Buddha's Pure Land in this life, we will also become Bodhisattvas. So whoever that attain rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's Pure Land, they will all be Bodhisattvas. And not only that, we will also quickly realize the enlightenment to the stage of non-regression, a high level of enlightenment for the Bodhisattvas. So there are a total of uh, 51 stages of enlightenment for Bodhisattvas, or sometimes uh, 52 stages. So with the 52nd being the final Buddhahood. So enlightenment is not just one stage, and there are still many more stages after the very initial enlightenment. And when we realize enlightenment to the stage of non-regression, when we are in a pure land, then we can choose uh, to go to other worlds or to come back to this world to help save sentient beings. And we will never fall back. We will never fall back in our position. We will never fall back in our bodhicitta to help save sentient beings. And we will never fall back in our practice. So it is only when one realizes enlightenment to the stage of non-regression that one has the capacity uh, to stay in the cycle of samsara to help save sentient beings. So now we are not enlightened yet, let alone to say enlightenment to the stage of non-regression. So that's why we cannot really remain in the cycle of reincarnation to help save sentient beings. It will be too risky. Uh, we can't even save ourselves, let alone to help save others. Some bodhisattvas, they are not rush to realize the final Buddhahood. Uh, why is that? Because they already have the capacities to help save sentient beings. Uh, if they have really this great compassionate heart, uh, really like too much, then they are not hurry to realize the final Buddhahood yet. And uh, they just want to keep help saving sentient beings uh, before they realize the final Buddha hurt. So such as Bodhisattva Siddhagaba, who vowed to uh, only realize Buddha hurt when the hell realm is empty.
So we don't need to worry about, oh, you know, when will Bodhisattvas really like Buddhahood? Right? For these highly enlightened Bodhisattvas, they already have the full capacity to help save sentient beings. That's why they're not hurried to realize Buddhahood. So I hope this makes sense. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Amitabhaya.